When scoring a scene, you don't always get it right from the first time. That doesn't necessarily mean that what you wrote is bad on its own. It's all about the intention of the director. Take this scene from Sleepwalker, where Benny is dreaming about being a knight. When I saw this, I thought, okay, obviously we're going for Middle Ages. In practice, that usually means that composers pull out their Renaissance instruments. Renaissance is historically more like a bridge between the Middle Ages and the modern age. But that's a different discussion. This scene felt kind of whimsical and innocent to me. Look at him go with his inflatable pool horse and his legs. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to go with the feel of a folk dance. Something that could have been performed by troubadours. The director saw this differently. Benny is a knight on a crusade. He's heroic, brave, he's not playing. This is the real thing. He referenced the scene from the movie Excalibur, where they used O Fortuna. And so we ended up with this. For this scene, I originally took inspiration from Indiana Jones, mixed in with some Donkey Kong Country 1. The director didn't like this at all. Now, this is episode three. We hadn't quite found the Elves and Benny sound yet, but he knew this wasn't it. So he suggested I reuse the helicopter theme instead. It seemed like a weird idea at first because I really associated that tune with the helicopter, but I reworked it a little bit and it worked out surprisingly well. love referencing other shows. In cartoons this is done frequently and composers aren't afraid to be on the nose. But you have to watch out for plagiarism. In the context of parody, doing quotations like this is usually fine, but directors sometimes still get nervous. In this case, he felt more comfortable with a more subtle reference. This was my first pass on this scene. But the director wanted it a bit lighter, more in line with the helicopter theme that we had established before. same episode I experimented with a tribal jungle sound for obvious reasons. In the 
final version, we toned that down. I wrote this nice little tune for Babette cooking. But the director wanted Babette to sing, so this cue was dropped entirely. At least the tune she ended up singing was inspired by the next piece of music. <laughs> What's the takeaway here? For me, it's interesting to note that almost all revisions that were requested were in the first six episodes. That makes sense because we were still looking for the right sound and exploring the boundaries of what belongs in the Elves and Benny universe and what doesn't. Crucially, I hope this episode illustrates that as a composer, even though you're spending most of your time in your studio by yourself, finding the right sound is a team effort and the director plays a huge role in that. <laughs> Luckily, having found a specific sound for a show doesn't mean you don't get to explore a whole bunch of different genres of music. See you next episode. Bye. <laughs>